On behalf of all the veterans in this state, I sincerely thank those who planned and participated in the memorial service today. We must never forget it is the American mighty, my, fighting men and women who have kept us free from tyranny and protected our interests around the world by winning battles in the air and on the land and the sea. We ask much from our military and many of them have responded by giving the ultimate sacrifice. It is our military and those of our allies who have been the peacekeepers as well. There is much anticipation after 68 years of North and South Korea facing off between a two mile deep line of demarcation, the 38th parallel. There's much, much anticipation as to what will may happen in June and whether or not those two will meet and finally peace will come. And there has been all sorts of rumor mongering about who may or may not get a Nobel Peace Prize, Prize out of such an occurrence if that were to happen. But let me remind you, it is the military that deserves any peace prize. It is the military that has been the instrument of peace throughout our history. And it is those that we should recognize when peace is kept. The politicians may make the agreement, but the military is the instrument for peacekeeping. Last night, I lost my uncle who served in Korea. And while he was there, and I was very fortunate because I happened to go home to about 10 days ago, and on my way back, I stopped in Denison, Iowa, and I visited my Uncle Joe, who is a Purple Heart veteran from uh, Vietnam, and I took Joe out, and he said, you know, your Uncle Leo wouldn't mind you stopping by to see him. So I stopped by to see my Uncle Leo, and at his house was my cousin Mike, who actually lives in Bloomington, is, uh, works for State Farm. And um, Leo passed 10 days after I saw him. So I, I want to remind this body that it is not too late and that you should spend the time to listen and to talk to your members who have maybe served in the, in the military. Because when I went to talk to Leo, I found out something I hadn't known. You see, Uncle Leo served in Korea at the same time as my father. And those two are actually able to get together once in a while, even while serving in a military theater. And I had not known that little tidbit of information. But I encourage you, all, all of you, to collect the stories of the military that are in your family, to hold those dear, and to pass them on to your children as well. So again, on behalf of veterans, I appreciate this ceremony. I appreciate all that serve. And I ask you to keep the history of what the military has done for our freedom alive. Thank you.